Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JP the Barber, y'all. Um, I apologize to you first and foremost because on my very first video, I told you that I would be consistent and I would bring you weekly videos. I haven't done that for a long time, and um, as we speak, I'm going through a transition. So it's slowing down my video process, but I can promise you that my transition will better serve my customers and it will better serve you, my subscribers, on YouTube and Facebook. So um, just bear with me. I'm not going to be bringing the videos, you know, like I usually have, but um, they'll come. And um, just I ask you to be patient and, you know, just don't don't lose faith in me. All right. Um, I see. Uh, this video, I'm going to talk about what being, what is a question. What does being the best barber mean to you? You know, that's an interesting question because, you know, I ask a thousand different people. You're going to get a thousand different answers. And um, for me, I'm just going to just put myself out there. You know, for me, being the best barber is being consistent. And being, you know, what my customers, bringing forth the best I can for my customers. Um, if you all remember, I did an interview with Ivan Zook. And he told me, and he told, and he said in that interview, not so much told me, but he said in the interview, you have to be able to keep your head, keep your back straight, you know, very cut. And at the same time, be able to look at the door while you're cutting, and no matter who's coming through the door, you know, you can take your hand, stick it right in this pocket, and pull out a wad of money because no matter what they ask, you know how to do it. And that's what I'm seeing in YouTube. When I'm directing this to YouTube, my Facebook, especially Barber Society and Adman on Facebook because those are the two sites I go to for my education, Adman and Barber Society. We all know how to do urban cutting okay or should I say we're very well well rehearsed in urban cutting okay we know how to we know how to do fades we know how to do tapers skin fade low fade medium fade we know how to teach that we know how to use a straight razor to a point to a degree but what are what other things can we do and I'm not talking about designs because you might be able to do the best design in your work in the world, but if your haircut is crappy, who cares? Your head if your haircut if your if your haircut around the design is crappy, your whole design gonna be crappy. I mean, people look at design, but your haircut gonna be off. So, what's good at having design if you got a crappy haircut? Simple. Um, we all have what's called what what Al Million. Big up to you. Um. Big up to you, Al Millions. You, you, you put, he put a video out called Barber Swag. I would encourage everybody to check that out. You know, he's talking about good stuff. And, you know, just like and like he said in it to a second, I'm taking it from um, NYC Barber Battle right here. Just like you have to have swag and rapping. You know, you got to have swag when the covers cut here. You're never not going to make no money. You know, that's just, that's just the bottom line. <laughs> if you don't have that swag when you're cutting here, you ain't going to make you know, the money that you could, or, you know, sky's the limit, um, but I want to be the best barber, me being the best, for, to break it a long story short, me being the best barber means that I'm a well-rounded barber, and in that note, I've taken, you know, taken my talents to other places outside of my comfort zone to improve my skills. Currently, right now, I'm in a shop that I use more shear and scissor technique than I do with a clippers. But I do enough of it to while I'm still more rehearsed in it, and I'm I'm still aware, and I can still improve myself on both. So um, that's what I do. That's that's what it means the best to me. It's not so much best to me, and I do the best haircuts, but I will say I'm second to none when it comes to customer service. I put that on anybody against anybody. My customer service in my area, second to none. And there's way better hair barbers than me, but I get my share. 
because I treat my customers well. All right. Yeah, let me take you around. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right here. This is what I do, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't play barber. I am a barber. I take my stuff home. On my off days, I'm still getting it in. You understand? Ain't no shame in my game, man. I'm hungry. So, you need to figure out what being a barber means to you and how you can um, translate that into success. Because based in, the, in, the long, in the long haul, that's what we're all here for. We want to be successful and we want to make our lives better than they currently are. No matter. Um, on that note, I can give you one, one thing I will tell you to do. Never stop learning. Never stop learning. Always educate yourself. School doesn't stop after, bar, after you get your license. The more you educate yourself, the more rehearse, the more you learn new trends, the better you're going to be all around. And I can't re-emphasize that enough. You have to be a great all-around barber. All right? Not just in one skill, what Ivan Su calls a one-hit pony. <laughs> all right? Become an all-around barber. Map it out. Do it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you in the long run because it's, it's helping me. Um, that being said, um, I got to encourage everybody. Make sure you hit up admam.com. Al Reed is doing big things over there. He got great, great tutorials to help you learn. You know, also hit up his Facebook, Admam on Facebook, so you can go network with some of the great barbers over there. Mike Muhammad, Patrick Fox, Eric Kennedy, arguably one of the but not arguably, she wasn't included in the 12, 12 best female barbers in the country. I'm going to go ahead and say it. She wanted the top 10 in the country, male or female. And that's me bigging up, bigging her up. So you keep doing it, girl. Um, also hit that Barber Society up on Facebook. Lee Trim, getting busy over there. Um, and like I said, keep... You got to become a well, round, well, more well-rounded barber to be successful. That's the main point of this whole video. All right? That is not, it's more than just fades. It's more than just uh, tape. It's more than just using the machines and the straight razor to be in a barber. It's more than just haircuts. It was up to you to figure that out. I can't, I can say up here and talk till I'm blue in the face, but... I can't force you to see what I'm seeing. So, it's up to you to find that out. So, I wish you well on your journey. And I can and I can just guide you. I can lead you to the water, but I can't force you to drink. So, um, take that into consideration. And let me know how your, your journey goes. Uh, if anybody, you know, you want to talk or got some. Oh, yeah. I got one more person. My fault. Uh, two, actually. Two more people. Look out for Vic Damone, my man out here in the West Coast. Look for Vic Damone. This instructional video coming out real soon. I know this. I talk to this man. It's my friend right there. We more than just barbers. That's, we actually very good friends. You know, I never met him yet, but shh, we talk every day. And trust me, his video is going to be sick. It's going to be sick. Hey, Jay the Barber, he's going to give you some competition, man. <laughs> real talk. So check out that Vic Damone um, video as well as... um. Ron Classic Cuts, if you're on Barber Society, you know who Ron Legend is. Hey, any clip or question you have, make sure you hit that man up. He knows, and he's not and he's not going to give you a biased, he's not going to be biased on his opinion. He's going to give you his straight opinion from his 20 years of experience. The man knows his stuff. Pick his brain, because he's here to teach. He is a willing teacher, and he's not getting paid for none of it. So hit his brain up, and you know, hopefully it work. It helps you, cause it has helped me. He has really helped me. So, in turn, he'll help you. Thank you all for listening to me. Um, I can't tell you next time I'm gonna be on, but hopefully <laughs> it'll be sooner than later. So, peace, and um, talk to you soon. <laughs>